Robert Etheridge here. Show you how to clean your hats from all the stains and grossness on them. Let's get it. So if you look closely, I got some sweat stains here. And if you really like the hat that you have and you want to keep it fresh for as long as you can, this is a good way to do it. Stains right here. In the back. Some on the inside. Let's clean it. It's a pretty clean hat, but that's you want to keep it fresh. So you see the stains right there. So you can go on uh, Amazon and get a cap buddy for $20. Canadian. Um, I got mine from Lids though. I don't remember how much it was, but you can also get them at Lids. And uh, let's get into it. So we'll open it up. It's got these two tabs right here. Snap it. Snap it. The back's got a little holder. Take it off. Take it in two. Put the bottom down, put your hat on the all the settings, make sure it's on there, make sure there's no ripples or anything. I'm going to put the top on. We'll get it back in that. Uh, we'll get it back in there. Snap it in. And we'll do the front. Snap it in. Snap it in. Now your hat's ready to be washed. Now there's two ways you could do it. You can do it in the dishwasher. Just pull it out, put your hats in, just your hats, top rack, little bit of soap, laundry detergent, just a little like two drops, and there you go. Or you can do it in the sink, and that's how I'm going to show you how to do it because that's how I like to do it. So first you want to make sure your sink is clean. Give it a little wipe, whatever's in there. And we'll put a stopper in there. Let the water run so it's just lukewarm to hot. You don't want boiling hot and you don't want cold. So you let your water run, get it warm. Fill your sink up. A little laundry detergent or you can use this soap. You just want to use two drops. Either or. So, let's put a couple drops in here. And I like to do this to make it a little more bubblier. more water. Once you get uh, some water in there and some bubbles up there, stick your hat in. Let the water fill up. Until it hits the top.
There, now we'll let that sit for 15 minutes. If you need to put something heavy on it, put something heavy on it. I put one of my little cutting boards on the top. Just let it sit there. 15 minutes, let it sit. There you go, our 15 minutes is up. We'll take that off. Unplug our sink there, let it drain out. Smells nice. I'll give her a rinse off. Trip uh, the access out into the sink until you notice that it slows down. And you can either get a cloth and pat dry it, or just make sure it's in a nice shape. And leave it to dry. Let it dry naturally. Don't put it in the sun or you'll sun bleach your hat. And yeah. Don't put it in the wa in the washing machine because you'll wreck your hat altogether. And if you put it in the dryer, it's the same thing. So this is the best way to wash your hat. This or in the dishwasher. And once it dries, I will show you guys how clean it is. Alright, so now it's been about four hours it's all dry let's take it out and see what it looks like No stains, all the stains gone. Smells good, ready to be worn. Put it back to your size, whatever size you wear it at. And your hat's all fresh, good to go. How to tail slide with Rob Etheridge. Let's get it. How to grip a board with Rob Etheridge and Faith Etheridge. How to back shove Flamingo with Rob Etheridge. Let's get it. Frontside flip with Rob Etheridge. Let's get it. This is a Muska flip.